Welcome back to another video about building a website with WordPress and Divi and uh, so far we've covered building this front page and uh, setting up a Google API key for Google Maps as well as look, setting up a local development environment and a lot more you can find on my website and on my YouTube channel. You can also subscribe on, on my website and on YouTube. So. For this video, what we're doing is uh, we're going to use CSS to change a few things like this button, but I only want to change this one button on my website. I want to change the way every button looks on my website to achieve this. Uh, DB has this custom CSS tab in every module and you can add a custom CSS ID or a class if you want. But for this example, I'm adding an ID called custom button and I'm going to save it and update it and then go and identify this custom button ID in my style sheet for my child team. What I want to do is make this button a little more noticeable so I'm going to add a little more padding to it and I'm going to update it and see what it looks like on the front end. So I see a little difference, but if I hover over it, this arrow just goes into the white space. I'm going to fix that in a, in a moment, but if you look at all these other buttons on the website, they're the same. And this is exactly what I wanted to achieve. So this is pretty good. And what I'm going to do for that arrow thing is add a, another element in the style sheet for the hover action and uh, increase the padding on the left and right side for this button when someone hovers over it and then just refresh this page and you see the whole thing is working perfectly now so you can simply modify any element using this technique and uh, if you wanted to let's say change the background of this section into um, let's say this texture image right here uh, you could try and do it using the option available in the section module settings and I have it uploaded in my media library right now so I'm gonna set this as a background and show you guys what it looks like if you do it using the settings in the module and you can see it looks really really bad this way to make it look good and not stretch itself out like it did I'm going to show you how to do that using the custom CSS options right here you can add another CSS ID in here, let's call it background1, save it and update the page and then go into your style sheet and identify background1 as a background and provide a URL from your media library and just save this. Once you do that, you can see the background change and it's not stretched out or anything. It's working perfectly fine. And this is the way you want it to work. So that's another thing you can do with CSS. And you can also change the way your menu items look. You can do that by going to the style.css and identifying a new custom class. Um, you identify a class by the dot in front of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new background to this link. And just use this color code for orange. border 1px white and maybe a padding too. I'm gonna make it important so it 
ignores any of the DV style padding for the link. And I'm gonna update this file and then open the menu section because we have to apply the CSS class to this menu item and I'm gonna apply it to the pricing tables example you can't see any options to add a CSS class right now you need to go into the screen options and activate the CSS classes and then you can see the option over here what you need to do is add the custom navigation CSS save it and then refresh this page and you can see it over here now there's a huge height going on over here but since I've done this before I'm going to show you why exactly this height is there if you look at it in the mobile section uh, in, the, in a mobile view or look at it as a tablet maybe it looks perfectly fine right the only problem we are having right now is when we are dis displaying this button as Oh, sorry on on the desktop and um, to fix this all you need to do is add a media query into your CSS style sheet and you can add a media query to only affect the CSS when it's being viewed as a desktop so what I'm gonna do is media all and minimum width to be 981 px and uh, it should only just affect the custom nav button class and make the height maybe let's say 35 px and that's about it i'm going to close both of these brackets the media bracket as well as the class bracket refresh the page and you can now see it performing well on all devices like the cell phone and tablet as well so i hope you guys found this useful and uh, you tune into my videos next week as well as leave me any suggestions or requests if you have any thank you and have a great day